Swedish armed forces in the waters off Stockholm last month in the hunt for what was widely rumoured to be a Russian submarine. It was the country's biggest anti-submarine operation since the end of the Cold War. The following week, RAF fighter jets were scrambled twice to intercept Russian long-range strategic bombers. A degree of mutual probing is routine, but NATO is reporting an unusual level of Russian activity over European airspace. New research backed by senior European figures warns of a risk of serious military escalation. We need to ask that the Russian leadership, who are clearly authorising uh, and allowing their military to behave in this way, for two purposes, I think. I think one to test our readiness and, and, and other to send a political message that they can breach our borders if they choose to do so. Uh, they need to, I think, be made to realise that the risks associated with this have costs for them too. A study by the European Leadership Network details more than 40 close military encounters over the last eight months. On the 3rd of March, a civilian airliner taking off from Copenhagen came within 90 metres of a Russian reconnaissance aircraft, which was not transmitting its position. The Rome-bound flight had 132 passengers on board. In early September, they recorded Russian strategic bombers in the Labrador Sea near Canada, practising what they believed to be simulated cruise missile strikes on the United States. On September 17th, two Russian aircraft violated Swedish airspace in what the country's foreign minister described as the most serious aerial incursion in years. Russia has doubled its military spending over the last decade under ambitious orders from Vladimir Putin to upgrade 70% of military equipment by 2020. That military spending has been matched by a surge in patriotic rhetoric here, particularly since the annexation of Crimea in March. That was genuinely popular in Russia, and for all of the international condemnation, President Putin's approval rating remains well over 80%. Increasingly, this seems to be the strategy from Putin's Kremlin, to focus on Russia's power and prestige abroad rather than the difficult economic situation at home. The country's currency has plummeted, hit by sanctions and a falling oil price. But analysts warn the weaker Russia's economy gets, the stronger its posturing may become. It's basically nuclear uh, blackmail to frighten the Europeans that Russia may use, uh, go to war, that this may become nuclear, and that they should make concessions, uh, phase out sanctions, be sort of... Uh, more considerate to Russia because Russia can go real bad. Russian soldiers in Red Square on Friday reenacted the storming of the Reichstag in the Second World War, a reminder of the country's past military prowess at a time when there is real concern about its future ambitions. Finland's president has warned Europe is at the gates of a new Cold War, with Russia playing an increasingly dangerous game of brinkmanship.